course with the spear you are at a much much longer distance what have been very really useful is to use it uh, on my side uh, for the rear rim like uh, a cavalier like uh, a mounted fighter under there your elbow under your arm it's locked it's strong and then like this sometimes you can really push your opponent and by doing this sometimes the shield is really on the side and you can even go right for the elbow it happens by turning all around or pushing a bit because keep in mind that the, the spear is pointing and if you are doing a huge thrust something that you put a lot of strength in it you will stay stuck in his shield and that could be a problem you can even uh, with a spear you can really control then my spear and I will be really embarrassed and I will have to follow his shield and that could be a big problem because I'll stay stuck there that's why when we are training we are also thinking about just pushing a bit not going for a big amount of strength in the contact and if we are doing bigger first it have to be first beam for the leg right there it have to be of course for the face if it's open beam directly on the face and it happened also that by doing this by locking also the spear sometimes you go on the side and you can come back there and you have a lot of strength and perhaps without proper and mat just the tip there can slash the face the same uh, there won't do much if you have several layers of fabric just point or the spear there will tickle a bit but not create like serious damage same there on the side even if you have bamboo or a piece of leather there I won't cut a thing if I want to do something I will have to directly thrust in the leg and perhaps stay stuck in there but stuck in the leg it's far better than stuck in the ship we have mostly the same techniques in fact on both sides because we have the same kind of shield we are trying to control create opening by turning around it depending on how it could be done like this you can come under it really depends on the scenario but this have been kind of basic we switched a lot there something that have been interesting is to use the spear to deflect your opponent blows as well and this is very efficient when I try to stop for the face perhaps just remove the spear directly from him and can even use the back of your spear to stab and this position have been really effective as well because you can control push come up disturb a lot like this and same same thing goes you see you can control where your opponent is pushing with the spear up oh, that was my hand <laughs> happens again like this you can disturb him you can turn turn around the shield one side the other side Again. the thing is that with one hand like this if we go for the cavalier position and under his arm there I have absolutely no strength he controls the spear I'm not controlling anything I'm just trying to follow move but it's a position when you are very strong you can control the, uh, the assault fight when you are like this it's really something that help to control where your opponent is and also good thing is that you rest your arm because the spear like this requires a lot of energy to use and by locking at the moment by locking there you will rest and still you will still be in a in a position in which you can still 
give some pretty good blow directly to the face or to any other parts that your opponent will open. Oh, ça va 